right, roadblock, end of the line. Doot doot! We begin with the Tag Team Championship match. And now that the New Day has conquered the, the former Tag Team, Demolition, they, they fully conquered the, 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 the streak. They now have the longest reigning Tag Team Champions of all the times. People were like, well, I dropped the belts. Other people kind of went, they should hold it for like 500. Make it a nice even number. Well, they try their little pseudo heel trickery, where it's using the third man to their advantage. Okay. Sheamus and Cesaro work really well in this match. There's a spot where Sheamus is doing, I mean, Cesaro is doing this. I've got you, Kofi. Kind of walking into a vertical suplex, slides him down to the God's neutralizer. And I'm like, there's your fit. Not your finish. Beautiful back and forth, lots of false finishes. Crowd gets super into this match, which is great because these guys were working it really well. Seeing Cesaro and, and Kofi Kingston kind of do like a like a Ricochet Osprey sort of bit was beautiful. These two guys are way too athletic. Just amazing stuff to watch. <clears throat> Finish. See Sheamus going for the tag. Cesaro pulls his hand away at the last second. And then gets in the ring and the crowd and the announcers are like, he didn't he didn't tag in. He runs in the ring, eats a trouble in paradise. Kofi goes for the pin. But he ain't the legal man. Sheamus like barrel dives over him, hooks the leg. One, two, three. And it was like that was brilliant. That was a really well done match. So that means Sheamus was a IC champ, WWE champ, heavyweight champ, now he's a tag champ, King of the Ring, Money of the Bank winner, Royal Umber winner. Um, very few people actually have held almost every single accolade. The only thing he's missing out is the U.S. Championship run, which I don't think he has. <coughs> That's it. So if you have him beat Roman Reigns, he will have held every single time existed since he's been there. That's impressive. But great match, solid over. The Braun Strowman Sami Zayn 10 minute match. Strowman did some great psychology in this, and Sami Zayn looks like someone you could just beat half to death. So good at that. And they did a really smart job. About the three minute mark, McFoley comes down with the towel, and he's like, I have to throw it in, Sami. Sami says, just, just throw the towel in. And Braun Strowman's like, throw it in or I kill him. And it's this nice, like, stalling spot, but it really did a great job with the psychology of it. Sami Zayn lasted 10 minutes. Gets a victory. Solid match. It showed that Strowman can pretty much work a, a, long, a longer match. You may take out the, the one minute, like, respite in there. He worked a solid, like, eight minute match. Who thought Strowman could go that long with a style of offense and make it work? Helps that he's got a guy who's a human punching bag, but Zayn looked like the never say die underdog, like Daniel Bryan, sort of person that the crowd can really get behind. And Braun Strowman just looked like a massive tank just mauls people. But he's wickedly arrogant. He's like, I can fish man if I want to. Just don't feel like it. Solid. Rollins, Jericho, great match that you would expect. I mean, these two guys do it to the well. It's a great match. Owens comes down, kind of gets involved a little bit. Ends up costing Jericho the match, kind of. We see Cobra reverse into a pedigree. You know, good match. I, I dug it. Solid match. After that, because, you know, booking is weird sometimes. Cruiserweight match.
Whoever would have thought that you finish having a match with two guys in the lower 200s who do cruiserweight style moves, you then push into the match where everyone is under 205 doing the exact same sort of moves and like, hey, the crowd doesn't care. And their match was... could have been crisper. But Swan retained. And then Neville showed up and killed everybody. Crowd went nuts for Neville. Neville shows up, kills like, the two top baby faces in the top heel currently, and the crowd's like, Hail thine conquering hero, the Newcastle Nightmare Neville. Yes, triple N. Just not like. The most glorious thing to happen to this division is the guy who showed up as a heel and wrecked everybody. Now I really want to see Nice and Neville form a tag team boot and Drew Gulag out of their group. Just have the two stupidly jacked high flyers as a tag team. Just wrecking everybody. Strong heel group. Let's do it. Come on. Fully on board the Red Arrow. Let's do this. Probably think run long matches. We are. I'll talk about the, the Universal Championship next. Because even though it's the main event, it didn't quite feel like it should have been that spot. Owens had flashes of the guy who destroyed John Cena's first night out. He went for a frog splash from like the timekeeper area to the announce table. It didn't break. The second one did break. Jericho gets involved, attacks Owens. Owens wins by DQ. Jericho helps Owens up. Big hug. Facing hard camera, no smirk. Now like... Which would have been great. And you'd have been like, Oh, he did... Falls in scared, but nope. As they're leaving. And Roman's like... Oh. Oh, he oh hell... No. no. Oh, he no. 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 No, this ain't happening. Rollins comes down like, oh, no, no, this is not happening. Well, Jericho Owens like, oh, 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 he oh, oh, no, this, this is happening. Power bomb through a table, power bomb through a table. So Jericho goes through one. Owens goes through the actual announce, not the, not the hey look at all the cartridge in tables, but the actual main announce table. All right, decent ending. You tell the crowd was kind of deflated by that time. So we'll talk about the Sasha Banks-Charlotte match. The sixth time they've had a one-on-one -on -one match for the title. The first ten minutes, you can kind of skip. I hate when I was like, we're trying to feel each other out. If this is their sixth one-on-one -on -one competition for the title, and they've had triple threat matches, tag matches, they know each other well. They don't need to feeling out, period. They don't. But the first 10 minutes is kind of slow. Second 10 minutes, you get your first pinfall. You're like 19 minutes into the match. And so Charlie gets a victory with like a super uh, natural selection. Cool. You can dig that. Works well. Your next 10 minute period, this is minutes 20 through 30. We see... Three pinfalls. Two in under a minute. Sasha hits a Sasha roll. Because it was kind of like a La Mahi Strahl, Oklahoma, O'Connor, and then just, I gotta hook something. And then it banks it like almost right afterwards. And I'm like, okay. Now we're picking up speed. Now Charlotte's like, I'm destroying your leg. Just thought, like, you know your leg? I am wrecking that. I am, you are not going to stand. You might win this match. You are not walking to the back. And it begins to brutalize her leg. Gets her in a figure four with, like, two minutes to go. 
gets the bridge. I mean, they're fighting back and forth this whole time, which was great psychology. Char Sasha taps out with two seconds to go. Jojo, the ring announcer, just Charlotte has won the is up up is up at one won the fall. And I was like, oh. Oh, <clears throat> that's in that match, and you you flubbed. So two two, going into sudden death. By now, Sasha's like no, this <clears throat> it gets brutal. Sasha's bleeding profusely from the mouth, and now it's just that I'm gonna go for my submission. No, I'm going for my submission. I'm going for my no. I'm going. It's just this beautiful series of mat work. That ends with a figure four being locked on from like the late, like the ground position. Sasha's in it. She's just. Charlotte's trying to get the bridge, but she can't because she's so beaten down from the match because she's in the ring. Hits the bridge. Charlotte, new champ. Crowd deflated. Sasha. Retains her undefeated streak. Going three to two in that match. Match over half an hour. First ten minutes is kind of slow. Because you do Iron Man matches only really one of two ways. Either you do, like, you know. It becomes 1-1 one, one really early, like 1-0, then 1-1 one, one really early, so they're chasing each other the whole time. Or you get to the point where it's, you know, it takes a tremendous amount of abuse, and then the falls start happening relatively quickly. So we had four falls in like 11 minutes. It's practically the majority, well, four falls in 11 minutes, five in like 20, if I add all of them together. So... It's done. Sasha gets to go to do whatever. And I guess now we wait for Charlotte to get ready to face Bailey. Okay. It would be nice to see Charlotte take on somebody else. But I think the only other face is. Maybe re debuting Paige? It's Emelina face? Will we finally see Charlotte and Dana come to blows? Will she try to avoid Nia Jax? Will Sasha be the one relegated to match with Alicia Fox? Will she take some time off? Will she turn straight up heel and start wrecking the only other face in the division? Bailey. Will she start a feud with Emelina? To get Emelina over? I don't know. They put those two in like the John Cena of Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns level. Have we weren't seen to go back to facing regular competition. 